Hey everybody, I was just about to go to bed and I realized I never did this today. Wow, look at that. I can see on my screen that Osceola's on the front page there. Okay, so this is the journal for June 21. The stars of the week this week is going to be the Phillipsburg Elks Relay for Life. Got here the countdown to Heritage Days begins. That's the uh, annual festival in Phillipsburg. Okay. Stockley, 45 other PA veterans inducted into, into In Memory program. More than 650 Vietnam veterans, including 45 from, from Pennsylvania, will be inducted into Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund in memory program in 2024. VVMF believes all those who served in the Vietnam War should be honored and remembered. The in memory program enables the families and friends of those who came home and later died the opportunity to have them forever mentioned. Many Vietnam veterans coming home from Vietnam was just the beginning of a whole new fight. I guess so, one local guy is uh, inducting that. That's Ronald Stockley, who was in the Navy. He died in July of 23. But apparently it's a thing to memorialize all Vietnam veterans. Okay. Borough business. Pizza King elected president. New council member appointed. You can have a splash pad if you. Spruce Speed Woodman. Let's move down to Osceola. Osceola Mills Borough Board of Commissioners held their regular meeting on June 17 in the Borough Hall. Now, this says it is written by Pat Rothdutch. Pat, perhaps I can educate you slightly. I know you're only working for this rag, but still, you don't have a borough board of commissioners. You have a borough council, and you have a mayor. There ain't no board of commissioners. Okay? Along with regular items on the agenda, the commissioners at length discussed two main topics of concern. The first involves submitting an application for a grant to start work for improvements on Lingle and Stone Street. Michelle Merrow, borough engineer from Alder Engineering, spoke to the commissioners about the work and the process of applying for grants. Suggested an application for 284,000 uh, bucks. Let's see. Well, that's, so that's for uh, get money to help fix. Lingo and Stone Streets. Let's see. The second area of discussion is on page five. Centered on the issue by code enforcer Gary Jones. Jones spoke first about the progress being made in drafting specific guidelines for inspection of rental properties. This is important because renters and owners need to be aware of the requirements in order to meet them and prepare for the inspections. I happen to live in a rental property, and I'll tell you this, Mr. Jones, if you're going to come here, come with a fucking warrant. 
Jones asked permission to study the proposed requirements further and then submit them to the solicitor for comment. He next talked about an abandoned vehicle ordinance, and didn't they talk about that the last time they were in there? Finally, Jones spoke about dealing with dangerous or abandoned properties and how the Redevelopment Authority of Clearfield County's resources could be of great value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other regular items were also discussed, and there were reports from the mayor, finance, fire report, street and light crews, and parks and property. Old business talked about the July 4th parade, which as of now seems ready to go. And finally, a new business, everybody was encouraged to attend the DCED grant workshop. Going to come inspect my property. Yeah, we'll see about that. I don't know. This looks like a whole bunch. Yeah, more crap from Phillipsburg. I don't want to read that crap. Obituaries. Richard Hassinger, born in 41. He was from Winburn. We have Reverend Mr. J. Harry McElroy, born in 33. Says of Harrisonburg, Virginia. I was formerly of Osceola. We have a Randy Reams, born in 1966. Moran. Now, this might be somebody was telling me the other day that a guy, forgive me if this isn't him, because they said it was somebody named Reams and he was fleeing the police or something and he ran off the road and was killed. It's hard to imagine that uh, anything he was run away, running away from was worth dying over. We also have Larry Kennar, born in 1940 from Sandy Ridge. And there's a separate headline there that says, Coal Mining Legend Remembered for Encyclopedic Knowledge of Area Business. And apparently that's uh, about... Mr. Kanar. Now we have the police report. Spurred to mischief, 29-year-old Munson man was arrested for trespassing. Okay. Can you hear me now? No. Verizon Wireless reported to PSP that it had $35,000 worth of copper pipes stolen on South Machanan Avenue in Snowshoe. Federal offense? Question mark. Joshua Miller, 38 of Dubois, was arrested for theft of an antique USPS mailbox valued at $500 taken from Mill Street, Rush Township. Cleaned up. An unknown male actor... Can't get through the week without having some of those thespians acting up again. Damaged laundry machines at the Phillips House coin up laundromat in Phillipsburg and stole money. Yeah, an investigation is ongoing as video footage was obtained. So, once again, I hope the crime was worth it. You've been warned. The sobriety check point will be conducted by PSP within Center County in upcoming weeks. The apple falls from or far from the fee. Police investigate a scam where the victim, a 54-year-old Houtstill man, was told he could rent a residence from Facebook Marketplace, but would have to pay the first month's rent with an Apple gift card. Bad. Bon Scott Lee Fort, 23, of Morristale, was found to be in possession of drug paraphernalia on Lamb Drive in Morris Township. I don't know why they did the uh, cheap bad thing for that. Annoyed and obscene, David Clare Jackson, 19, of Phillipsburg, pulled down his pants and exposed his bare buttocks to the victim of a crash scene on Blue, Bear, Blue Ball Road 
and also to a female who was nearby. The incident annoyed nearby people who felt the action was obscene. I believe that used to be called mooning. Drugs. Charles Wilkinson, 21, of Phillipsburg, was arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia. Rear-ended. Nathaniel Hoffman, 29, of New Millport, and Monica Crane, 63, of Houtstel, were traveling northbound. In Decatur Township, Crane was directly in front of... Let me read this again. We're traveling northbound on SR-53 near Sinky Lane, Decatur Township, period. Crane was directly in front of, at the time of Hoffman, the crash. I know you wouldn't be able to read it or I'd hold it up to the camera because it's too small. Um, but yeah, let me give you that sentence again. Crane was directly in front of, at the time of Hoffman, the crash. Hoffman trucked the rear end of Crane, causing disabling damage to both vehicles. No operators were injured. You know, I'm going to try to take a picture of this for you, and I'm going to, hopefully you're going to see that inserted into the screen so you can see I'm not lying to you. This is a professional newspaper. Drugs at the bank. David Marino, 40 of Clearfield, was in position of marijuana and paraphernalia at the CNB Bank. That seems weird. I don't know why. By the way, only that one Morris mentioned. There's a bunch of high school sports. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, we got the Wagon Wheel Amphitheater. Let's see, are they announcing a schedule? If they are, it's not very easy to see. It's just a whole bunch of words and words and words. I mean, if, if they had one, you know, a nice you know, bullet-pointed schedule. i check it out and see what kind of interesting things are going on. But, and we get to, we get to unfold the newspaper. Okay. The memory lane is the Phillipsburg High School, 1930. Oh, that stupid background is making it hard to, there, can you see it now? That's yeah, the Phillipsburg High School. And the stars of the week. Again, Phillipsburg Elks. Relay. Oh, it says, and Relay for Life. The Elks presented Relay for Life in the Shannon Valley, a $200 check. Okay. Relay for Life. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's... Uh, Raises money for cancer. Uh, just knocks up on the floor. But who cares? I hope that guy's not going to come and inspect me while that's laying on the floor. They may throw me in the hooskow. I guess uh, the only other note I have for you is it is too, too hot. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Peace out.